friendos, it's Adam Oshi, and in today's video, I'm going to be making some fursuit paws for Carrot 2.0. So I don't want to drag out the intro any longer, so let's just get to it. So I have my Pokemon fabric here. It's made out of a spandex stretchy lycra material, and I'm going to take my template for my hand paw and I'm going to trace it and then I'm going to trace around my hand so I can have the inside glove part of the hand paw. Make sure it fits in you know both my hands. And so I traced it and I'm going to cut it out of this material. I've already got it doubled up. So now I'm going to sew these two pieces together. And the sewing machine really, really does make it a lot faster. It looks like I'm going really fast, but I am going very careful, especially between the fingers. But overall, it is much faster than hand sewing this, like I did with Najee's paws. And making sure it fits properly. And there you go. A little glove part that goes inside the fursuit paw. And now I'm tracing out the fur pattern for the top and bottom of the paws. And also tracing where I want the paw pad to be. I'm going to cut that out of the fur and always pay attention to the fur direction, making sure that it's facing the right direction. So here I want it the bottom of his pause to have the palm be shaved down but still have the wrists be long and I'm going to leave the top of the paw long as well. So just the palm shaved down. And so now I'm going to put the minky material um, onto the, the orange fur and I'm going to sew it on. I'm just tracing around where I drew the pattern. And now I do it on the other. All right, so now I cut uh, a slit and then I stuff it, make sure it's to the proper amount, and then I hand sew it closed. And I like to make them, you know, really, really stuffed so they really stick out and they're very, very plushy. And then I cut off the excess around the paw shape, paw pad shape. And I have to be very careful to not cut too far. So you have to be very careful, but also get as close as you can. And there you go. And now I'm doing the fingers, like the top part of the fingers. I'm tracing that onto the orange fur, paying attention to the fur direction. I always draw like an arrow on the back of my fur so I know, but I always double check just in case. And I'm going to uh, shave the fur down before I actually cut them out because I find it easier to do that, but that'll be later. And now I'm doing the bottom part of the, the fingers where the pad, the paw pad will be on the individual fingers. These will be shaved down as well. The, the top and the bottom of the fingers will be shaved. I just like to do pre-shaving. It just makes it easier. It makes it look nicer too. All right, so now I've moved on to uh, making the claws. I like to have them pretty big, but I can customize the size, you know, to whatever I want. But I wanted him to have big, long claws. And so I'm going to double that up, and I'm going to pin it together and then uh, sew it together. 
Okay, I guess I'm gonna be shaving some orange fur. And also I wore a mask while shaving because uh, you do not want to breathe in all those little tiny little fibers. It's very, very important. So I just cut them out and then I cut around the, uh, shave it down and then I cut around the edge just to clean it up a little bit with a pair of scissors. So now I'm actually doing the claws, sewing them together but I don't do the bottom part where I'm going to stuff the, uh, where I'm going to put the polyfill into the claws. So now I'm cutting them out and flipping them in, you know, right side out. Uh, I'm actually taking a pen and I'm trying to clean the, the edges and that's what they look like. So there's an opening where, where my finger is in where I will stuff it. There you go, that's a claw. All right, so now I'm sewing the darts for the tops of the fingers so that the material will have that uh, you know, curved shape to it, and then I'm just cleaning the dart, just making sure the fur, you know, getting the fur out of the seam. And I do that for all the seams, for the claws, for the, you know, every seam that I, I can. Now I'm sewing on the uh, paw pads, and also cutting and stuffing, cutting the back stuffing it and then sewing it up just like I did with the big paw pad and I do that for every single finger and also cutting the edge and making sure it looks all nice and clean getting close as possible without cutting it open and undoing all the sewing hey there's a paw pad that's a bean got some beans Alrighty, so here's the claws and I'm stuffing them here. And I use a pair of scissors to really like shove it down in there. And that's what a finished stuffed claw looks like. I am sewing on the fingers with the beans onto the bottom part of the hand paw. Hand sew like the starting point so that it won't shift around on, on the sewing machine and then I will do the rest of it on the sewing machine. I find it easier that way for me. And then I do the other hand the same. And basically do that with the top where it's the ones without the, the beans as the top of the fingers. I put the finger on, start it with, you know, sew it in the corner, and then I do the rest on the sewing machine. And now I'm, I'm sewing on the, the glove part onto one side of the pop. And it doesn't have to be sewn in it all the way around, just in plenty of spots along the way to secure it on there. I'll go up the sides, I'll do like each side of the finger and the tip of the finger, but not completely all the way around it. And there you go. That is the bottom part of the paw. A lot of work to finish, but still a lot more to go. Alright, so I have the two pieces, the top and the bottom of the paw, 
and now I'm pinning them together. I find this really hard because you have to make sure that they line up just right and if not then it's going to look weird and it takes a while to get it pinned properly. So I sew the straight part, like the wrist, arm and wrist part uh, on the sewing machine, but around the fingers, it's just a little hard for me because I'm still learning the sewing machine, so I do the fingers by hand. But you still have to be careful making sure that everything still lines up and that things are, the material's not shifting around or leaving holes. It still takes a while. All right, so now that it's finished all sewn up, I flip it right side out and I'm picking through the seams to make sure that the fur is not all stuck in the seams. It hides the seams a little bit better. We're not quite finished, but we're getting there. And now I'm taking the stuffing and I'm putting it on the top of the glove and stuffing with fingers. And here I'm making a minky material uh, little trim to go around the outside. And I found this to be the hardest part of the entire thing because trying to apply this, I still haven't, I don't know, I'm still struggling trying to get this to look right. And so I just, I, I guess I just need more practice. But I still thought this did not look super great, but I, it was better than my last try. So. At least I'm getting better, but I, trying to pin this on and keeping it in place was such a struggle for me, but I'll get it over time. Like I edited out a lot of stuff that was me struggling with it. Now that I finally got the trim on, I brush it and pretty much the paw is finished. This is what it would look like if it didn't have claws but I want claws so here I am sewing them on you know after everything is put together and I just go around like in a circle around the edge all the way around so it retains its round shape at the base and it takes a while to do this too all this is it takes a long time for every step it's just you know, if you want to make it look right, you got to do it right, so it takes time, so. But it is, the end result just looks so much better when you do it correctly. And there's one claw on. And now I just time lapse to where I'm finishing up the last one. Alright, so there they are. Here are my finished fursuit paws with my own pattern and made the claws bigger and tried out a few new techniques and a few new things, but I absolutely love how they turned out. I love the squishiness of the beans. I love the claws. Everything just looks so good and I'm glad I went with the top of the paw being long but the palm being shaved down. It just looks so good and I'm so happy. Yay! <laughs> I can't wait to have the rest of the suit finished. Sorry, I'm looking off to the side because I'm looking at the viewfinder. <laughs> Yay! They're so big and squishy. I love it. <laughs> And yes, I was wearing those headphones the whole time, pretty much listening to music. <laughs> They're my cat headphones. And so there's the inside with that Lycra material with the Pokemon. It's got fire type Pokemon on it. All right, so there they are. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. See you later, alligator.